The doctor didn't give you any indication of why he wanted me to come with you? No. But he didn't say there was anything to be concerned about. No, I mean, I assume this is absolutely routine. I don't know, honey. I've never been through menopause before. I know, but he probably just wants to tell us what to expect. And, well, unless... Unless what? What? Unless what? Well, unless... What? Something showed up on my blood test. It was too horrible to tell me over the phone. And, and he wanted you here for support in case I flipped out. Nina, you know, well, what did like, the man say? Said, exactly. Yeah, what well, were his words? Just that he thought it would be wise for us to come in together as soon as possible. That's all. Okay, here we are, honey. I'm sure I'm going to be fine. <laughs> I hope. I'd never seen Nina so unglued. I wasn't used to being the calm one. I didn't know what the doctor was about to tell us, but nothing, absolutely nothing, could have prepared me for what I was about to hear. It's gonna be all right. Nina? George? Well, we ran a panel on Nina's blood. Nina, what? whatever it is, I just want you to know I'm here for you. Yeah. And you can count on me, and okay. we're gonna get through this together. Okay. So, uh, tell us, uh, what is it we can handle it? What's wrong with her? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing that won't go away in nine months. Kids, you're gonna have a baby. Excuse me? Nina's pregnant. Oh, my God. Pregnant? <laughs> and who, may I ask, is the father? George. Don't George me, you two-timing Matahari. I swear, we haven't done it in six weeks. I haven't just felt myself lately, but pregnant? How could this happen, Nina Dickerson? Why are you calling me by my maiden name, you big jerk? And what do you mean we haven't done it in six weeks? What about that little escapade? Oh, please, that was a stupid nothing. I mean, that was a moment of pure insanity. Would you like to know how many moments of pure insanity I've delivered over the last 20 years? Phil, look at me. I'm about to be a grandfather. Things like this do not happen to men my age. Come on, Picasso had children well into his 70s. Ah, oh, well, you know, Picasso. I mean, Picasso, I mean, there, I mean, he's the one guy in history who had kids into his 70s. But, you know, he's an artist. He can do anything he wants. I'm just, you know, I'm just a, a regular Joe. You know, regular Joes don't have, have babies at my age. You know, I was, I was just adjusting to being a grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. 